It takes two to tango. Yeah. Uh, and the marriage did not work, so we separated and I had to walk away from the business my dad had given you me. You know that point always even like now I've just felt cold my whole <laughs> body. And I've known this story, I knew it. I remember I was being calm as I'm offering advice, but I'm thinking your dad gave you a business yeah, he did. that you walked away from. I, yeah. Mm. Hey everybody, my name is Angie Morenga. You're watching Just Angie. It's Lifestyle Thursday and it's the first day of October. And what a beautiful way to usher in the first day of October with this amazing set with flowers and talking about floral stories mm. and just happiness and, and, and loving life, you know. Mm -hmm. I love that. You know, my daughter's name is means Althea yes. and it's a flower that brings healing. Mm. And I feel that that's what flowers do. They you know, do. flowers bring healing. They bring joy. You know, you're, you do. could have had a fight in the morning with your with your better half and then they bring you flowers and oh, you just feel do. like, ah, you're just awake and alive and happy. We can express when somebody passes on. Yes. We can express it with our flowers. Mm. We can, when somebody sick we go visit them with flowers I mean they're just a beautiful mm -hmm. way of expressing ourselves and the more mm -hmm. beautiful I mean like this is absolutely amazing mm -hmm. um, the more beautiful they are the more healing they carry that healing it's essence true. so I'm mm -hmm. just amazed by that mm -hmm. so you were saying you did not you should have done the business yeah. sooner I got in the sense of how to run the business sooner. I should have learned how to set the systems the structures okay. I know intentionally, mm. I did not do it. Being intentional about, about it and deliberate. Yes, yes. Um, at one point, I was the driver, the um, designer, the person mm. who's setting up. And for a long time, mm. you know, I look back today, I thank God that he restores Amen. time. He does. He does, oh, yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. And for me, this is a new beginning. Amen. Yeah, Amen. and uh, probably I should not say this at this point, but maybe later, but now that it's come and I'm yes, thinking about it. it. And yes, I just it. wanted to say it even when we began. The reason I'm here is because of you. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. you know. Because of God. <laughs> because of God. I mean, when I came into KBS, I was so broken. I was finished. I was done. I would yeah. have sold the business. Look at, uh, look at look where at we are now. now. Yeah. I'm learning. Um, I have learned a lot. I, I, my life um, took a turn around. Yeah, and God, God first started working On in you. me. Yeah. Through me. And um, I, w I wasted so much time in business. But I will still say it's not a waste. Lydia. Yeah, but I, I don't, don't think it's I a waste. Feel. I don't think why you should feel like that. You know why? It's not a waste. You know why? Mm. Obedience is important. Dorcas invited me way before. You said when we were just next door to you. Then we moved all the way How to Karen. How many gates? Two, you know, very two or three gates. Away from me and... I, 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 I think then I will forgive myself. I, I think, think that's, that's something you I need, need to forgive, forgive myself. And yeah, because and there was a the reason. Why didn't you want to come? You know, because maybe you would help somebody out there. There are many people who say, oh, let's go to Pastor They don't want to come. Well, and yeah. it's maybe not just Pastor Angie. It could be somebody, a friend who's inviting you into a space that has the ability to change your life and you don't see it. And Actually, these things are unexplainable. Yeah. How do we explain <laughs> that this is what can happen? Yeah, but when time came, I came running. You did. Oh, I did. You did. I did. I did. Mm. And I found a home. I found solace. I found actually what I'd been looking for. All the questions. Because I'm, I'm this kind of person. Um, I, I have mistakes, very many mistakes. We all and, do. Yeah, and I'm not perfect. But there's that truth you're looking for. Yes. You look for it in this church, in another church, in another space. Mm. And when I got to KBS, I connected. And it's just by yeah. God's grace. And yeah. we thank God. Because yeah. for me, that's the gift, yeah? The gift for me is I'm a connector mm. of people to purpose and destiny. Mm. I'm a person who draws out potential. Yeah. I'm a person oh, you who can do. see things that oh. you cannot see. Yes. I am a prophetic intercessor, so when I'm praying for you, I'm praying prophetically. I'm not praying what is happening, I'm praying what's happening in the future. Mm. And also you need prophets to open doors, you know. Oh. I went later, because you told me like a year later about how broken you are, yeah. how you are on the verge of giving up, yeah. how that was it now. And mm. I remember when, uh, one thing about obedience that you said, there's something that you happened to you also in the, in the middle of our getting to know each other. And I remember you called me and I said, don't do it. Do you remember? Yes, yes. Yeah. Might not yes. want to share, maybe don't yeah. want to share all the details. Yeah. If you do, you can. Mm. But I said don't do it. And from there, another shift took place. Yeah. Um, when I wanted to go uh, back, it is about the marriage. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, uh, or about the court case. I don't know. The court case. But it depends on what you want to talk about. Don't talk about anything you don't want to. Yeah. You don't feel comfortable. No, to by share. the way, I'm ready to help women. 
Okay. Mm. I'm right. so ready. Amen. Hallelujah. No. Jesus is Lord. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> yes. yes. Hallelujah. That's the reason. I mean, you you shared your story so authentically, Thank and that's you. how come I connected. I was like, oh yeah, I can I can get healing for myself. Yeah. Because I'm you, not just you, finding people who are healed. But yeah, I find you're so authentic. People. And I had been to two churches and and I was misunderstood. Mm. And uh, my dad gave me a shop and. Um, as I continued my business, got married, and me and my, allow me to use ex, mm. my ex, well, mm. worked in the flower shop together. Mm. And we, for a few years, I was married for nine years. And towards um, the, how many years? Six, seven, eight, nine years, those were the hardest. And this first always came to me, can two work together and yes, let's agree? Agreed. And I would always see this ladder. I don't know why, but I would always see a ladder. And we are climbing up a ladder. And one day, me and my ex will get to the top of the ladder and realize we were climbing the wrong ladder. Wow. Yeah. So those two, can two work together unless they, they agree? And, but there was a lot of commotion. I made my mistakes. He made his mistakes. Mm. It takes two to tango. Yeah. Uh, and the marriage did not work, so we separated and I had to walk away from the business my dad had given you me. You know that point always, even like now I've just felt cold my whole <laughs> body. And I've known this story, I knew it, I remember I was being calm as I'm offering advice. But I'm thinking, your dad gave you a business yeah, he did. that you walked away from. I, yeah. Mm. I, I, and this I, man took over the business. Till today. No shame. And the business name and everything. It's today. from your dad. Yeah, it was from my dad. But what happened was, um, well, I uh, still in that shop, the first shop was called Garden Center. We opened up another shop just next to it. And um, what is kept up to today is the other name. The second shop. Yeah, but he o always operates. The Both name of, them. of the yeah the, the, the name of the first shop yes, yes and I remember the time we had come because we had started walking together on a journey journey of healing journey of process journey of what should we do and you called me once and you told me you're, you're taking him to court yes and because I told you <laughs> do not go but, but in but that this direction is, this is the reason why and mm. I I feel um, you know you have so many friends around you so many people are talking to you and they are telling you how. Can that happen? Yeah, how can Even this me, happen? I was, how can this happen? Yeah, how can moment? this happen? And I didn't know, and I, I felt so, you know, as, as this person, when I got married, I really trusted. I wasn't getting married to get out. Nobody so, does. So uh, by the time we were separated, I was so broken. I, yeah. I needed to heal. And he left, and that's when I began floral art. God just gave me the name. Because when I registered floral art and started doing business, I Somebody would come to me and tell me, I have had this name before and I wondered. How? Well, yeah, and how, it's how? new. Yeah, it's a new name. So what happened is I struggled a lot. Uh, immediately after separation, because he wasn't um, giving us anything and not helping. I'm beginning a business. Whatever I get from the business, I had my smallest girl. Mm. She said she's, she's 19 now. Yeah. She was three years old. Imagine. So I was 16 years. Yeah, so um, I needed milk for her. For her. I needed food. Need for rent. Her. Yeah, I needed rent. The, I mean, Education. systems and structures then would not have worked. But one thing yes. I usually did was to tithe. Okay, amen. Yeah, the, tithing. Amen. I, there's one time an accountant came and did my work and told me, I don't understand how you you, tithe. you, su you survive. It's a God who has kept you amen. because your accounts are not making sense. Amen. They don't make sense at all. So you see, structured system could not come in at that time because you needed. Your business was feeding your children, everything, school fees, school fees everything. everything. Yeah. So at that point, they were not there. But you see, they came at the right time. Yeah. So at that point, I had so many of my friends asking me, because they knew I'd been given the business, mm. why isn't it that you didn't go for it? And I had to go to my dad and ask him, mm. should I go after this guy? Mm. And he told me, no, you don't you need to. He told me that these are things that you're going to live here on Can Earth. Can you imagine? And Thank you, Dad, for wisdom. Yes, yes, yes. And then later on, there's a one time um, I engaged a lawyer. And the reason I engaged a lawyer was because we needed, I, I needed him to help with school fees for one of the girls. Mm. And I sat and I asked him, why do you think my dad told me not to go? 
after the money and the property. He told me, I needed this from a man's perspective. He's also an, an elder of a church. And he told me, it's because your dad realized that you, this thing was going to tear you down and he wanted you whole and not the property. And he was like, your dad has blessed you. Mm. You will prosper. And you know, it's amazing because that's true. And I want to stop there. But you see, I didn't even know about the other two people you had asked. And that's what happens a lot to pastors. So it's like, I'm looking for somebody who's going to tell me, let's go to court tomorrow. So this will give you advice. <laughs> yes. When you came to me, I just that. And I was like, mm -mm. because I know there's a, there's a time when we can fight. And there's a time when there's no actually, need to there, fight. Yes, there, there was a reason why I actually came to you then. Because many years after, many years after, I realized he was still using my name. Because I did not write a letter of resignation. That mm. was his reason. And which means that he made money with my name. And that's why I came to you and I was like, I need to take this guy to court. But and God is a restorer. Yeah. Because... How God has blessed you since that moment. It's amazing. It's been amazing. I remember there's one blessing, which you now will need to move to the next video, but there's one blessing that got us prostrate. Me, I was on the ground. I was like, that's God. And that's what I like. I like him when mm. he delivers. And I'm not saying that it's wrong to go to court, but you have to sense it. Yeah. You have to sense that because it is a system that's been created, but there's a reason for everything. And I didn't even think about it the way that your dad and this elder mm. advised you because your parent is saying that this isn't going to break you. Mm. And there's no point in breaking mm. you. We need you whole. Mm. There's also the respect and the honor of knowing that the things that we chase every day, they are not everything. I don't know whether it was somebody who shared the other day somewhere. I think it was at my dad's funeral service. Somebody shared about um, Alexander the Great. That he, in, he, he was in his coffin. He wanted his hands to be outside and money to be thrown. So his hands were hanging. And the best doctors should carry his coffin. Because he said, I want them to know that they're the best doctors, but they couldn't save me. Mm. Then his money was being thrown and strewn to everyone so that everybody can know this money you're going to leave it. Yeah. Mm. And his hands were hanging so that you can just see how dead he is. Wow. Yeah, he's actually dead. He's gone. So some of the things that we're pursuing here, and it's a, it's a mindset shift that I feel like the whole nation needs to go, on, go, go through. It is, it to is. stop making money a god and an idol and fighting over things that you don't need to fight mm. about. And we want to end it there. We're coming back next uh, Thursday. And I'm sure you will want to join us. God bless you. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.